subscribe box, yeah. Hey guys, it's Kendra with Holistic Happy Healthy and today I'm going to be talking about different snacks that I eat so that I can stay on top of my weight loss journey and not lose focus. And I'm also going to be talking about Thrive Market. So let's get into the video. Okay guys, so early on in my weight loss journey, I wanted to get foods that were healthy for me but didn't lie to me on the label. So what I would do is I would investigate further into the ingredients and I found that a lot of snacks out there are telling you guys that they're healthy on the outside of the label, but when you actually dive deeper into the ingredients, they are not that healthy for you. I remember there was one time I got a protein bar and I just grabbed it quickly from the gas station or from the local Meyer, and I ate it and I was like, wow, this is so good. I looked on the back and and I kid you not, it was literally the same caloric intake and sugar and fat and all of the different ratios when it comes to health and ingredients. And it was literally the same, the exact same as eating a brownie sundae. I wish I would have just eaten the brownie sundae because that protein bar was not that good in comparison to something I would have rather had. One of my objectives with this video is to help you guys in your journey and not have to be stuck eating celery and rice cakes the rest of your life. There are really good ingredients and good recipes out there for different snacks that you guys can eat while you're trying to lose weight and trying to stay healthy and maybe just wanting a sweet treat that won't push you over the edge. I have developed many different recipes over my time period using low carb, using fruit, not fruit, you know, all the different kinds of ingredients that have worked for me that have helped me stay on track and I would love to share them with you throughout this video. One of the things I do want to get started with are some general snacks that you can actually purchase. So this video is in sponsored in collaboration with Thrive. I love Thrive and I do want to tell you guys this because there are a lot of sponsored videos out there and I'm honestly just an average person I mean you don't need me personally but anything that I will be talking about on this channel I genuinely use and trust and the brands that I use are in collaboration with companies that I full-heartedly back up so I really wanted to talk about Thrive because even before I was in collaboration with them I used the company I was actually a member before I reached out and you know got the different sponsorship codes and all that good stuff and there are links below this video in regards to this but guys I honestly was a member before I reached out to them and did a video with them but like I said I was a member even before doing this video so I am so excited to share with you guys what I got in this box and talk a little bit more about Thrive and in the second half of this video, I have some snack recipes so that you can incorporate those into your day as well. So what is Thrive Market? Thrive Market is a grocery store online where you guys can shop conveniently at your time and ease. You can do it at work, you can do it when you're getting ready for bed, you can do it in between hustling and bustling your kids. It's very convenient and you can get high quality ingredients and high quality groceries in a matter of seconds. All you need to do is apply for their simple membership. I think I pay $5 a month for mine and I have full access to all of these wonderful ingredients and foods and not even just sticking to food guys thrive market also has household products like laundry detergent and soaps and different things like that hair and beauty products so diving into this I did do kind of a pre unboxing um, but I did want to show you guys some of my favorite snacks and some of the other treats that I got this month so one of the things that I got was flackers flackers I actually use with vegan uh, cream cheese and I put like a little dollop of cream cheese Sometimes I put chives on there or even green onions onions and I have this and I literally just eat it like it's like it's a cracker you know but these are really good I got the what is this one black sesame seed and black pepper I also got the rosemary flax seeds and then there is one more in here I just had it and then there's the sea salt brand so I'm very excited to try these guys I used to be a very big potato chip eater I kid you not I could probably sit down and eat a whole bag of potato chips in one sitting so one of the things I wanted to do is find an alternative to potato chips getting into my health conscious journey and one of the things I found was sweet potato chips now be very careful when you're you know, getting brands when it comes to sweet potato chips at the local store. Some of them have oils in them that are just not that good for you. This one actually is made with coconut oil. This is also, I believe, non-GMO and gluten-free. I've been trying to do gluten-free for a long time now. So these, these actually have some protein and fiber in them. So these would be a very good snack. I mean, don't eat the whole bag. Have one serving of this snack, but you can even have a serving of these if you're eating some soup or if you're having like a light sandwich or something like that. These are super good. And 
I can tell you my niece and nephew love sweet potato chips. These are really, really good for kids and very popular when it comes to my niece and nephew. One of the snacks I do like to get are these unpopped kernel seeds. These are organic, these are sprouted. These are actually a really good snack. Now I will admit these are higher in calories, but these are definitely more healthier than getting the generic brand that you guys find in those prepackaged containers or going to the movie theater. The next item I wanted to share with you guys are Thrive Markets spices. Guys, these are such a good quality. These are almost two ounces for all of this spice. And what I do is I just buy the package that I need whenever I need it and I refill all my spices. Hey guys, this does not fill one jar. I actually have some left over. I ended up getting garlic powder, paprika, and then crushed pepper, red pepper flakes crushed red pepper flakes. I actually eat these on my avocado toast or I sprinkle it on some of the soup that I have, but these are really good. I highly recommend you guys checking out their organic spices. I mean, this type of a spice at Meyer, I remember I was trying to grab garlic powder or red, pe uh, red pepper flakes, one of the two, and it was an organic brand and it was like over $5. These are literally like $3.69, I think, or just around $3 for these. And again, you get so much. I mean, this is one package, guys. This is a lot of spice for that amount of money. And again, they are organic. So please check out their spices as it is such a good value. One of the things I'm really excited to tell you guys that Thrive Market does have is kettle and fire your bone broth soups. I'm sorry, the crazy <laughs> kettle and fire bone broth soups. These are amazing because they're very healthy. They have a lot of protein because they're bone broth versus regular broth. And they're just really, really good. I have never tried this flavor. I am a butternut squash fanatic. So I'm really excited and anxious to try this soup. I'll probably end up eating it for lunch tomorrow. But yeah, I ended up getting this flavor. And then I have some vegetable bone broth as well as normal chicken broth. And these come in like a normal container size. But these were really, really cheap, guys. And again, it's all organic. Kettle and fire brand, I highly recommend that. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the Thrive unboxing. I use Thrive all the time. Like I said, I'm an active member. Please use the link down below. If you guys are a new member, you guys can get some special discounts if you guys sign up. And it's so cheap, guys, and it literally is so convenient. They ship this like so fast. I really enjoy Thrive Market, and I know you guys will too. Moving on to different recipes that I actually personally do for snacks, and sometimes I actually use the ingredients that I get in Thrive Market box. One of the things that I make, and I actually have this on my Instagram and TikTok of me making this, are my protein balls. All I do, you guys, is I literally put peanut butter or a nut butter of your choice. I put about two to three dates in there. I put chia seeds, sometimes I put coconut flakes, and I mix it all together using a food processor. And then what I do is I roll it up into little balls and I usually put that in the freezer just because I like that freezer crunch it's like an extra treat so uh, just a little tip for you guys if you guys want to try something different if you make them but they are so good they are such a good snack if you guys are needing a pre-workout sometimes I actually eat these before I go to bed when I'm craving something sweet I don't know about you guys but I would get serious cravings towards the end of the night and these actually help me stop that routine I would just have one or two of these little protein balls and they're actually pretty rich guys so when you eat them you think oh it's just like this big I could probably eat five of them but no I literally can only eat two but yeah guys they're really really easy to make and it's such a healthy snack so I highly recommend checking those out you can check out some of my other videos I have some shorts with me making those different protein balls but also I'll leave in the description down below the recipe for my protein balls check it out Another snack that I have on occasion, and actually I have this for breakfast too, just because I love it so much, is avocado toast. A fad, I would say this is something that is really popular, but the good thing about avocado toast is you can mix it up. You can add things to the toast. The base literally is avocado and toast, and that's pretty much it. I always have my BP-free bread, which is a dairy-free and gluten-free bread, or if I can't find that, or if it's out of stock, I will grab Ezekiel bread, and what I do is I literally toast the bread, I put avocado on top, I sprinkle it with salt and then I may have on occasion tuna or hard-boiled eggs sometimes even chicken on there or I may just eat it plain uh, and like I said before I do like to have the red pepper flake give it a little kick but avocado toast is such a good snack it's a good breakfast and I highly recommend trying avocado toast one last snack for you guys is my dairy-free yogurt you can eat this for breakfast if you add some more protein into it or it's a good midnight snack or just you know a snack in between meals that has helped me kind of sustain my sweet tooth and keep things in 
track and you don't even necessarily have to use dairy-free yogurt but I do so what I do is I use the so delicious dairy-free brand that you can find at Meyer, Target pretty much anywhere I've seen this brand at Walmart and what you do is you put a base of the dairy-free yogurt I sweeten it with stevia you can use monk fruit you can use a sweetener of your choice so what I'll do is I'll use one to two packets of stevia depending on the bowl consistency I'll mix that all up sometimes I'll put chia seeds in there just to give it a little extra protein and then I'll top it up with fresh blueberries or strawberries and then I'll put fresh blueberries or strawberries next and to top it all off I will top it with my homemade granola which I do have a recipe for that guys I'll leave it in the description below but yeah my homemade granola pretty much consists of nuts and flax seeds and chia seeds and some stevia and almond flour and that's pretty much all that I put in there the whole point of this video is because I do not want to eat crappy snacks. I want to enjoy my snacks, you know? I mean, I don't want to be stuck with eating rabbit food all the time, you know? All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Those are all the snacks from Thrive Market that I eat, as well as different recipes that I hope you guys incorporate into your daily lifestyle. If you are new here, please like and subscribe, as I do post content like this every single week. If you have been a subscriber, thank you so much for helping me my channel. Please give a like or a comment down below for snacks that you guys use and incorporate into your lifestyle. But other than that, I hope you have a healthy, happy, holistic, healthy day, and I'll see you in the next video.